Hey guys, it's called Gameplay here, and today I have a match of Search and Destroy on Rundown for you guys. And today I will Search be using the famous Red Dot with Silencer, Spaz 12 with Grit, Bling this Pro, Semtex, Stun, Stopping Power, and Ninja. I just screwed that up because I put Bling Pro between my Semtex and Stun and Stopping Power. Fuck. Okay, you know what? We're gonna keep on going. We're gonna keep on rolling. Keep on watching. Don't worry about it. Okay? So. I start off this game, two to three, three solid kills. You will see in a couple seconds right now. Maybe not, right there. Okay. So every single time I defend, first round, I'm gonna pull out that assault rifle. I'm gonna pull out the assault rifle and I'm gonna go straight to that house because people on the other team they want to rush, they want to catch us off guard, and I'm gonna pull a counter move on them, and I'm just gonna rape them coming across that bridge, that middle bridge. If people run across that, I'm gonna just like destroy them. They're never gonna wander across that bridge again. After that first round, they're gonna change their mind. And I wanna make that clear that they will not be passing that bridge without dying. So they're gonna have to take a different route and change their um, timing. So basically, the red dot silencer that I am using is a really good combination with the gun. And I want to see more red dot silencer blink pros out there because right now I'm playing a lot of ground war because I'm trying to get a uh, dual nuke with my friend to post a dual com split screen that'll be really fun and all I'm seeing is for some reason people are using blink pro and then they're putting on let's just say a red dot silencer and then guess what their second uh, little attachment is on their gun yeah that's right it's gonna be a nuke tube so gonna use a noob tube I suggest using uh, for your benefit one man army for my benefit I suggest you don't do that just because I'm not a big fan of that you not, not a big fan of getting one man army to cross the map you know I don't know about everybody else but we'll, we'll just stop there so round two fight and semtex versus frag so I'll, this match I'm gonna be going through two comparisons F16 and Famous and Semtex Frag or Claymore. So, let's start off Semtex and Frag. Basically, search all my commentaries. You're seeing either Claymore and some free for alls with Scavenger, and that's the only way I will use Claymores. Or, you're seeing most likely a Semtex. Okay? So, that Frag, if I'm gonna use a nade, I'm gonna use that in an important situation. And I'm gonna use that in a situation that I'm stuck and I need it really quick. So I'm just going to pull it out, that's what she said, and I'm just going to throw that Semtex right where I want it to be, and I want it to blow up within three seconds. I'm not going to wait that extra precious two seconds for that frag. Although the frag is a bit more powerful, I don't need that because of the time frame that it blows up, and it's just not worthy for the time that I use my nades. And frags are amazing for um, choking their the choke points with the frag, just throwing like a little uh, spawn frag across the map. Especially on a couple maps that I know. I know the f spawn frags from game battles, and Jesus Christ, the first couple game battles matches that I played, you do not know how many times you get spawn fragged. It's it's just amazing. But now, Semtex, it's the way to go. And Claymores, they're good. They're good. But you need that scavenger because you want that extra couple of Claymores because they're really going to help you in the long run. But in Search and Destroy, you're not going to want that scavenger because you're not going to run into a clip. And if you're only gonna kill one, two, two people, maybe four people max around, you're only gonna keep up, pick up a couple of scavenger packs, right? So what's the point of having scavenger? I think in that in that way, scavenger is probably the most useless perk in Search and Destroy. In other game modes, it's one of my favorite, but that's it. And so I basically cover that pretty well. I hope you guys think so too. So. On to M16 and Famous. That is a very debatable pick. It's very opinionated when people are picking between each gun. They're both three bursts. The stats behind it, the M16 shoots faster. You can shoot the between each three round burst faster. Um, the M16 is less accurate. And I believe the Famous is... I think five less damage. It says in the game that's a lot less damage, but 
don't take any of those stats for granted. They're all BS. Um, because the famous, it's talking about each bullet. You have a three bullet burst. It's gonna be pretty good, right? It's gonna take uh, two, two to three bullets. But with the famous, you're gonna need the accuracy, that given accuracy that you comes with the famous, and not the M16, unless you use holographic. And if you put a holographic on a famous, holy crap, it's gonna go in a straight line. It's gonna be hook, line, and sinker right there. It's gonna be easy kill for you. So, in my opinion, I'm I'm leaning towards the famous. I've used both guns lots, not tons. I haven't hoarded them out, but I like both guns, and I think famous is the best. And I'm usually gonna use red dot in the famous just because the accuracy is already good. I don't need that extra five percent accuracy, and the red dot is so small in Modern for 2 that it's just so beautiful because oh it's just so beautiful it's it takes up so little that when you're shooting it's so precise and you can see so perfectly and it doesn't hog up your whole like iron sight of red dot so you can see more around you and you're not missing out on the opportunity to get a kill especially if you don't have a uh, sleight of hand on use a red dot not a holographic just because it's going to take longer time to pull up that holographic and it's covering your full scope a lot more and as you see there I'm playing the waiting game he's in a little room or a little indent in the wall he's not going to be able to come out without me killing him so I wait a couple seconds I get that kill and there's another pe person riding stinger and riding stinger is pretty good especially if you're going to use a uh, UMP or something it's riding stinger that's the way to go and he ends up helping his team a lot obviously but not enough because uh, we end up going 4-0 and, and my end score ends up being 16-0 16-1-0 obviously as I say that I get an assist and it's a it's a solid game and I tried playing a little bit more aggressive with the Famous than it's intended to be used for and that exerts into a little bit more extending gameplay and I hope you guys enjoy that what I'm showing you guys so Basically, what I want you guys to do is post down in the comment section what you want me to talk about, what you want my opinion on, like, I want to know anything that you guys want to know about this game, real life video games, any topics, because I, I want to have topics that you guys are really interested in and you guys want to know the answer to, and I think with my knowledge, not superb knowledge, but with my knowledge in this game, I can give it to you, and yeah game's over hope you liked it please rate please like not rate comment and subscribe have a good day guys peace